today we've come to find out about the myths and legends that surround King Arthur's demise. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and let's check this place out. Oh, wait, she's finding the map. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're allowed to go now. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Um, this week, we are at Foss Arthur, um, which is just outside Domfront, I believe. Yeah, not far. Not far. Not, about 10 kilometers. Near Lonley Abbey. We'll put a, a description, it'll tell you where we are. Um, so basically, this place uh, has a bit of a mystery about the demise of King Arthur, which is quite fascinating. And Queen Guinevere. And Queen Guinevere. Everything will become clear as we go around, I'm sure. Jess has got facts and all sorts, same as usual. So we're gonna hopefully get some great photos and show you all around, sort of show you the walk and everything. Um, and we'll show you all the points to see along the way. So let's get walking. there's never an option to run. Legend has it that this is the place where King Arthur and Queen Guinevere died. There is somewhere a lake that is apparently bottomless that they fell into. So we're going to try and find it, but there's a lot to see on the way. There's these sheer rock faces, which are pretty impressive and very tall. This is a place where loads of rock climbers come. So you can see like loads of rope marks in all the rocks. There's chambers, bedroom chambers, but apparently can't get into them but I'm sure Matt will try his very very best and there is also a beautiful little waterfall reminds me of the one in Mortain so if you haven't seen that video go and check it out in war there's never an option to run very far to find the bottomless abyss it's just at the bottom of the waterfall here legend says that peasants from the local villages used to come here at dusk and drop a silver coin into the bottomless abyss as a symbol of good luck but obviously it's not bottomless because that's not possible can i just point out as well that jess probably should have told me it was called the bottomless <laughs> bit before i climbed down there to take pictures i only just <laughs> found out I mean, you didn't go in the water to take the pictures. Kill me. No. So I should really find out all the facts before I stop recording. The silver coins were given to King Arthur as a token of gratitude, I suppose. They put the coins in the water and in the morning, two bulls came out of the pit to go and help them working all the fields. It's an odd legend. And I'm not sure it's translated very well from Google, but it's quite interesting. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. Okay, so as you saw, we've just climbed quite high. You can see the river back down here where we just were. So this this part here, we're not quite stone there. We're not quite sure where along here. Um, but the story is that this is the king's chamber up here. Um, so this is where King Arthur was. And over the other side of the river, uh, you can't really see. We're going to go there later. Just the other side of the river is where. Um, Guinevere. Queen Guinevere was. So the story goes that the bridge, which is down the bottom, um, the king wasn't allowed to cross the bridge until night time? Sunset. Sunset. I'll get my facts right. 
sticking with fact Jess. So he wasn't allowed to cross the bridge till sunset. Um, but one day he arrived early and tried to cross the bridge. And so the legend goes that the, he was catapulted into what is the endless pit at the bottom of the fountain, at the bottom of the waterfall that we showed you. Um, and then obviously in sadness, Queen Guinevere decided to throw herself in after him. And being a bottomless pit, no one could ever find them. Um, the cave, as you can see, has caved in after years and years of icing and freezing and thawing and it's all collapsed. So you can't get access to it today. So I guess we leave it as a myth. Who knows what really happened? We're going to head up to the viewpoint that's up here and then we'll rejoin the route and go and find the Queen's Chamber. made it up to the viewpoint it's very high and on a sheer cliff drop so I'm not moving for the next couple of minutes at least I'm hanging off the edge so check yeah. out our Instagram link below I'll show you the pictures <laughs> quite literally hanging off the edge as well not very happy about it anyway apparently in the distance it's a little bit hazy today so you can't see there's a big mountain called Mount Moore something I've forgotten we'll put it we'll put it here and on this mountain is apparently sorcerers that have been returned by air and every year on St. John's Day they go up to the top of the mountain and perform satanic ceremonies. So that's fun. But I don't know where it is. Can't see it in the background. We'll try and see if we can see the piece of the mountain and take a photo. Speech. So as you can see we've just crossed the bridge and we're down by the lake now um, this place is absolutely amazing to come and see there's so much sort of mythology behind it i guess and it's just amazing to come and take some photographs and get a bit of fresh air and um, we do run experiences photography experiences and trips and all those sorts of things we'll put the link in the description below um, but check it out we can bring you along tell you the history of places and show you where's best to get photographs from um, really great trips so check it out I love the things you did you did for me for me it seems like you're dropping clues there's no need to rush so let's just take our time so we are part way around the lake and this lake is an artificial lake built in 1978 and it covers two hectares there's got to be some fish in there because there are fishing points which you need a license for it's a bit murky so you can't see any but yeah big lake 
Up the top of yet another hill. It's quite hilly here, and we're at this quarry. It's pretty big and really deep, and it was used for its hard sandstone. And apparently, down there somewhere is a motocross practice place. Huge. I'm trying to show you. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on? So we are back at the beginning by the waterfall where we started Because just over the bridge is the Queen's Chamber And I think you can see a bit more of it than you can of the Kings So we're going to go up yet another hill And have a look Excited So we made it to the top of the little hill and this is the um, Queen's Chamber or was the Queen's Chamber. I find it a bit coincidental that both chambers the rocks have collapsed in front of them. Yeah. We can't actually find any information as to why this is King Arthur and Guinevere's place. No. Like nothing in history ever depicts that they were even here. I reckon maybe Normandy tourism might have made it up. <laughs> but if we do find something, we'll leave it in the description, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, we also have a blog as well. Um, Jess writes a blog, um, which we'll put the link in the description as well. Um, check it out, it's a really interesting read and it goes into a bit more detail about everywhere we go and things we do, which is quite interesting. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away and show us where we are So earlier on we told you the story of um, King Arthur and Guinevere and how there was a bridge between them that they weren't allowed to cross. From what we can fathom, because obviously there's no pictures, <laughs> this was the Queen's Chamber and the King's was directly across ooh, through the trees over there. So we feel like the bridge must have gone across here because the story is that he plunged 70 metres um, down into the pit. It's a, bit, it's a bit weird though, isn't it? Because he plunged into the bottomless abyss, which you would have seen earlier in the video. It's quite a small waterfall to plunge into. Yeah, it's more of a light paddle than a plunge. Maybe there was, maybe this is all covered in water. Maybe. Back when. Yeah, there was pictures at the beginning that showed this as a bit of a a bigger river so maybe who yeah. knows that's yeah. the whole point of a myth though isn't it yeah so as soon as we've reached the end of our little tour up here and we're at the last stop we figure this is a good place to probably end our our video this week we hope you enjoyed it um next week we're not sure what we're gonna do same as always <laughs> we never really know see where we end up i think we should try and find a town we'll go to a city. town town or city we're gonna explore some some people we don't like people we do hey! like we do like people of course we love all you guys so thanks again for watching um, please consider giving us a subscribe it's really helpful and it's great to see those numbers climb our videos are getting watched more and more which we're really really happy about um, all our links are in the description blogs websites instagram i'll put here one more time just for don't just for forget giving. give us a thumbs up thumbs up for our video and ring the bell and ring the bell and we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.